Good afternoon. My name is Anne. So now I add the salt into the flour. I'm just trying to make an oil on here, but I'm going to knead the flour first and put it to rest. And next. A little bit of water to moisten the floor to get it soft. Yeah, a little more water, a little more, and now I'm mixing it all together. Here we go now. We're doing the mixing now of the flour. A little more water because it's still dry. And that's the way we're going to get it hardened. So you put some pressure on it with a little more water and get everything together, mix. Then we'll put every ounce of flour together. Clean your hand into it with the rest of the flour and you mix it over again together. And then we're trying to smooth it a little. And we'll go to put it to rest and do something else. Meanwhile, cover it with a towel and put it to rest. So then next, we will smooth it. But right now, we're going to peel the provision. Adding some water in the bowl. That is for washing the provision when we finish peel it. Now we're taking the knife to go to start to peel the provision. And this is the bread food. I'm going to cut it first and peel it. I'm cutting. I'm cutting around it. And then we're cutting out the guts inside of the bird foot. And now we're peeling all the skin. And we're gonna go slice it in two halves. Take all the cuts again. Take off the other one. And that's it. And then we go to the other slice. We're gonna take all the cuts again. And start peeling. Your 
Take up every part of the skin onto the breadfruit. And we're going to slice it in two again. Take off the inside again, slightly. And we're gonna peel, peel the other half. Remove the guts again. And the side. And we start to peel again. So we're almost there. And we slice again. We take off the inside guts again. And now we're going to peel the yam. A piece of white yam. We're going to put that in with oil. I know you West Indians like white yam we take off all this yam skin and then we slice it now we slice it And this is a the dashing. We're gonna peel the dashing, take off all the skin around it. At least I don't do too slow, you know, I do kind of fast. Everything I love to do fast. You know, once we're from the Caribbean, that's what we do. Then we slice the dashing after we finish peel it. It's very hard, so I have to take my time before I slice my hand. We cut it up. And then we slice the other half. Remove all the skins from around it and we slice them. Besides, didn't know you was here tonight. It looked like you're doing all right, like money running around nice. I thought you hide. Hey, oh. So now we're done with the dashing and the yam and the breadfruit. So we're gonna turn to the other set of vegetables with another knife that's the moko we call it in Trinidad but the other Caribbean we call it blogger we remove the skin from it and we scrape it clean out all the things around it and that is the green banana we peel it same way and we scrape it a little bit hard to peel so I use the knife to push away the skin off it. and here it comes we're gonna clean it again wrong it and scrape it And I think we finished now. So what we'll do now, we'll put all the skins in one plastic bag so we could get it to put it in the garbage to throw it away. So that's the waste.
from the vegetables. Always in a hurry, so I do my work very fast. In the garbage, we place the bag with the trash and cover it in a corner still. And now we're going to clean the onion part of the seasoning for the oil. We remove the skin from the onion and we get a bowl we clean in the garlic now remove the skins from the garlic And we clean the skin and put it away and these are the okros parts of the vegetable but first thing we'll wash the garlic and the side put it in a bowl and here comes the onion we'll wash it and put it in the same bowl. Then we finish that. Wash your hand and that is the time. That part of the seasoning. I dry the thyme and it's ready to go in the pot. So it wash and goes in the same bowl or the seasoning there and here comes washing the vegetables now you run the water over it and you wash it very clean that's the first water we give it another wash and now we're trying to go and pack the vegetables in the pot. We we pack it very close so it could hold all the vegetables into the pot. But we put the bread foot before and then the rest of the vegetables around it over. The dashing, the yams. We have to take with time and pack it so the pot could hold it, everything. Here's the bananas. And then we're going now to put the okra around it and over it. That part of the vegetables. I know you guys know okra. So we're going to put that around the vegetables for we oil them. And 
and here comes the seasoning goes to the pot now over everything we slice the onion and put it everywhere around on the top very neat and nice nicely i know you guys like nice things so i'm trying to please you guys from long long time let we just take a wine i want to hold on together and rock away the whole night and i'm glad to see you my friend from long ago don't even want to go i want to hold on together and rock away the whole night and next now we get the little grater and we grate the garlic over it and around it that's to give it a nice flavor Garlic is a good thing to cook with. It lowers your high blood pressure. And it gives the pot a nice flavor. Now we get some water to wash all the rest of the garlic onto the grater, into the pot. So we don't throw away anything. And now we put in the salt, not very too much. We don't cook with much salt. And we cover the bottle and put it away. And next, we're going to put some saffron curry over it, around it. And that is it. Next step, we're going to get the coconut milk. Plug on the machine and we're going to wipe the top of the tin for if it has any dot it don't go down into the coconut milk we didn't grate any coconut we buy the, the one in the tin the milk in the tin we're going to use that. It work as good as the great one. And we're going to put it and we use the can opener. And then we'll take a knife and remove the Just top and Pour the coconut milk over the vegetables and we'll just take a spoon and spread it around with some water.
we just average some water to put in it so the vegetable will not over soak and that's it there Pour a little bit more water when I finish. Wash out the spoon over it. And that's it. We wipe around the stove. We average the water, lift up the pot and bend it all over to see what amount of water in it. that's it there we're going to put it place it on the stove wash the cover dry it and cover the pot and turn on the burner and let it boil for one hour Whites it on the stove, trying to boil. We go back to the floor and get it smooth. That's the one to make the dumpling to put over the vegetable. So you see the flour is very smooth now. So we're going to pinch piece piece and make the dumpling. We're going to make it like if we're making fry bake. And we're going to flatten it. Just a small size. Meanwhile, we're making it, we just rest it on the side so it could just rest until complete finish make the dumpling like. Just a few. Almost complete with the flour, rolling it, and then we're still going to smooth it around with, with fingers to open it out a little while. Yeah. And then the We smooth the long ones, we roll it, and we flatten it with the thumb in the middle. Perceive. They have a little bomb, but that's nothing. When it goes in the mouth, it goes. We just flatten it. We make we are long like this. So why is we doing that? We wait until the pot start to boil. And then, meanwhile, we wash out the dirty dishes that in the sink and turn it down in the draining basket. So when we finish put everything in the pot, we don't have much dishes to wash after. 
because we completely wash it already and turn it on. So now we we'll turn to the pot, it start to boil. We'll put, place the dumpling around and over the pot. Everything must fit. That's the way we prepare our oil down back in the Caribbean. So we just take the cover now and cover it back. And that will be boiling there for one hour. And then we have a few planting. We're gonna peel it and slice it. And this, we're gonna put it, place it in the oven with the fish. But we will take some pan, wash it, dry it, sprinkle some breadcrumbs over it and in the pan. And now we will shake it in the bowl up and down until it take the coat of the breadcrumbs and give it another shake. Like we're shaking KFC. You know, guys. And we place it in the pan. Well, flat and you know how. So that's it. Until we go to the oven. We'll put on the oven after that, put it on 350. That's the fish. We call it Big Jocks back in the Caribbean. But you know, in the big country, we, sh we just say fish. Everybody knows fish. Because you know why? Some eat meat and some don't eat meat. So we cannot put meat in the oil. Up. So we do the fish separate. We put some barbecue sauce over it. Just to give it a nice little flavor. So we need our other sauce and we just add a little water over it to give it a little gravy so it will come out nice and soft and nice. Right, we go to the oven, put it 350 degrees. For half an hour. And we check, we check the oil long to see how it's going. Because we don't want it to dry down too much. We need a little gravy to eat with the breakfast. So nice. I can't wait to eat the, see the water? We cover it back. One hour. Good. And then we go to the other part and put some spinach. That good for your bones and everything, you know. You know, spinach is very good and healthy. 
body body. It's a greens with it raw we we scald it. But this one we'll scald it on the on the stove. We press it down with a wooden spoon for it not to fall over. And we come to put some seasoning in it you now, some black pepper, a little black pepper, not much, just a little sprinkle. And then we put a little bit of onion powder over it. Just to give it a little flavor. Okay? And a little garlic powder. Just a little. Just for the flavor. And we go to the oil. It wasn't sufficient, so I had to put a little more. And we put some olive oil over it. Not much. And that's it there. And we we'll leave it there. Let it steam about 10 minutes. We're stirring it in a way now so the flavor could go between and under. Press it down so it don't fall over, yeah, over the stove. Now we go and we'll flip it over so all the seasoning could get under and over. And we don't put it on high fires because we don't want it to make too much water to dry up. So just mild and nice. And here come the fish. And here That's my Caribbean oil down. Breadfoot. Dash it. Okra. Moko. They call it blogger back home. Green fig. Thank you very much for everything that i done for you guys hoping to see you all soon have a blessed night thank you for everything again may god bless you all